Was Barney a good or a bad driver? How come gun enthusiast Robin was actually afraid of guns? And why did Lily's dad pay for her wedding if they never even talked? Hi, I'm Dylan. Let's look into all these inconsistencies. Does Barney know how to drive? Do you remember the hilarious episode about Marshall and the gang saying goodbye to his Fiero? It opens up quite a few secrets about the characters, one of them being Barney's hatred towards the poor car, all because he doesn't know how to drive. Ted tells how he tried to teach him to drive in a parking lot, but poor, scared Barney couldn't even up the speed to more than one mile per hour. But later in the show, we see Barney driving a car multiple times. He drives Ted's mom to the airport, and in another episode, he tries to prove that he can avoid getting a ticket using his legendary charm. How come he couldn't drive faster than one mile per hour but could speed enough to make the police stop him? Okay, we can assume that Barney, as awesome as he was, just overcame his fear of driving. But we saw him driving even before the Fiero episode. Remember how he stole a truck with Ted's stuff when the latter planned to move in with Robin? And in a season one episode where Ted made it rain, Barney's ex mentioned that they hooked up in his car. Why would he have a car if he didn't know how to drive? How come Lily is allergic to dogs? However heartbreaking it is for us all to recall the period when Lily and Marshall were apart at the beginning of season two, we have to, because it has a significant plot hole. At some point, Lily doesn't have anywhere to live, and Robin says that Lily can't stay with her because she's allergic to Robin's dogs, to which Ted replies that he lives with her ex and she's probably more allergic to him. That's how they convince Barney to let Lily live at his place for a while, but did Lily actually have an allergy? I don't think so. I mean, we see her at Robin's place multiple times and she never has any symptoms. And in a later episode, Aldrin Justice, she's even petting one of the dogs in a scene. So looks like the writers came up with the lame allergy excuse just for the sake of showing the fortress of Barnitude for the first time and making an episode about Barney and Lily living together. Fooled ya! Does Marshall actually allow eating and drinking in the car? Coming back to Marshall's lovely Fiero. Remember how he had that crazy, no food or drinks in the Fiero, not even groceries rule? As revealed in one of the episodes, he's had it ever since his brothers asked him to get them five cups of coffee while he was naked and then scared him so that he spilled all the hot beverages on himself. To prevent it from happening again, Marshall forbade everyone from having anything to eat or drink in his car. That's why when Lily and Robin have Thai takeout food in there and accidentally splatter it all over the car, they come up with a lie that a homeless guy broke into the Fiero and threw up in it. But if you pay close enough attention, you'll notice that even Marshall didn't always follow his own rule. In other episodes, it was repeatedly mentioned that Ted and Marshall would eat beef jerky or drink tantrum in the car on their road trips. <laughs> so it looks like Marshall's strictest rule wasn't that strict after all. Is Robin a team player? At the very beginning of the show, Robin realizes that she's not a team player and tells Ted that she never even played team sports. I always played tennis in high school. I couldn't even stand playing doubles, she said. But later in season one, Robin revealed that she missed her prom because she had a field hockey game. And hockey happens to be a team sport. What's more, in a flashback in season four, we see her with her team after a game, kissing one of her teammates. It was at that point when Robin's father had to finally accept that she was a girl. So why did she say that she never played any team sports? Maybe it's because for her, hockey wasn't a team sport. It was her whole life. She is Canadian after all, but it's more likely that it's just a plot hole that was there because the show writers didn't initially plan to make Robin such a stereotypical Canadian. Does Barney cook naked? This guy was a constant mystery in How I Met Your Mother. Right up until the final season, we kept on learning something new about Barney. His tricks with women, his penchant for magic, his dad, his real job. Back in season one, we learned from Marshall that Barney cooks naked in his apartment. On the one hand, we believe him because we learned to expect anything from Stinson. But later in the show, attentive viewers noticed that Marshall's words couldn't be true because there's nothing to cook in Barney's apartment. When Lily briefly moves in with him in season two, she reveals that there's absolutely no food in the Fortress of Barnitude. As he explains it to her, he doesn't keep any food there because that way, his one night stands know that they should leave. And even later, in season six, Barney shows that the oven, as well as all the other kitchen appliances, are nothing but cardboard cutouts. So it's safe to assume that he's never cooked. 
It left us all wondering how Barney sustained himself without even a piece of food at his place. And why on earth did Marshall think that he'd cook naked? Do Lily and Marshall share a toothbrush? In season 5, our sweet lovebirds reveal to the gang that they share a toothbrush. It grosses everyone out, but then things get worse. Ted recalls that he was using the same one when they all lived together. And then Robin also remembers that she took it a few times when her and Ted were dating. Ugh, how revolting would that be if it were true? In fact, we saw Lily and Marshall brushing their teeth together a few times in the show, the most memorable one being in season one. It happened right when Ted and Victoria unexpectedly came back to the apartment to spend the night together for the first time. And it was also the episode where Lily peed in front of Marshall for the first time. They were clearly using different toothbrushes back then. Does it mean that they didn't start using only one toothbrush until later? Why is Robin scared of a gun? In season one's New Year's Eve episode, Ted decides to arrange a perfect celebration for his friends. He hatches an elaborate plan and even hires a limo. But quite a few challenges occur to prevent the perfect New Year's Eve from happening. One of them is the gang picking up a guy who they think is Moby, but he turns out to be totally not Moby. When he takes out his gun, everyone is startled, including Robin. It's weird that she's scared, given how big of a gun enthusiast she is. She's subscribed to Guns on Ammo magazine, she goes to a shooting range to release steam, she carries a gun in her purse, and even has a gun-shaped pendant. So it'd be more like Robin if she pulled out her own gun and pointed it at not Moby, asking him to leave their car immediately, or else. And then she'd probably tell the gang how awesome guns are. Does Lily hate her dad or not? In the second season, Marshall and Lily live alone for a short period and suddenly realize that they can't live without Ted. Marshall says that apart from marrying each other, they also have to marry Ted. And Lily replies, I'll tell you right now, my dad's not gonna pay for that wedding. But why would he even pay for it at all? I mean, do you remember the vivid history of Lily's relationship with her father? In Season 5's episode Slaps Giving 2, we learn that she isn't close to her dad Mickey at all. She hasn't seen him for years, and he wasn't even invited to her wedding. Besides, Lily's dad has always struggled financially, and even had to live in his parents' basement for a while because his board game company was a failure. So it's unlikely he could have paid for his daughter's wedding anyway, even if they had a good relationship. But at the same time, Lily's mom, who's reportedly a much better parent than her dad, is barely in the show. We only see her a couple of times, and she isn't nearly as important a character as Mickey. He even lives with Lily and Marshall for some time and goes to Rome with them, while Lily's mom is nowhere to be seen. So Marshall does know how to fight? At the beginning of the first season, Marshall challenges a guy to a fight in a bar because he thinks that he was hitting on Lily. But this guy turns out to be gay and says that they were just talking. Marshall is so relieved as he was scared to death because, as he says, he's never been in a fight before. How sweet. And how deceiving. Later it's revealed that Marshall did have quite a few fights with his brothers. When he tells about it, Barney, Ted, and Robin laugh at him and say that it was probably all about pillow fighting and tickling each other. But then they learn the violent truth. How brutal. Of course, we get it that some people might think that fighting with your brothers doesn't count, but it's obviously different when it comes to the Erickson brothers. Does Barney wear suits to funerals? Oh, we heard so many times how much this guy loves his suits. He sang a song about them and he brought like dozens of suits on his wedding day. Even his catchphrase was, suit up. Ah, classic. The only occasion to which Barney doesn't wear a suit is, as he reveals in season two, a funeral. He explains that suits are made only for joyous occasions. But later, in the sixth season, we see him wearing a suit at Marshall's dad's funeral. Did Barney change his mind and decide that suits are proper for sad occasions as well? Maybe he even realized that wearing one cheers him up and helps him stop being sad and become awesome instead. True story. Or possibly he's just being respectful because it's his best friend's dad's funeral. But we still think that it's just a plot hole. Did Gary Blomman die or not? A true How I Met Your Mother fan will undoubtedly recall this character. Although he's a minor one, Gary Blomman is still important for the show. And he's also immortal, or resurrected, whatever you like more. The thing is, in season three's episode, The Chain of Screaming, Barney tells Marshall a story of Gary Blomman, a guy from work, who once screamed back at his boss, quit his job, failed at his own business, worked as a janitor, and then died. It's a sad story, but how come we saw Blomman a few more times after that? He doesn't only keep on working with Marshall and Barney, 
but he also comes as an unexpected guest to Barney and Robin's wedding. One of the episodes in Season 9 is even titled Gary Blauman, and the whole gang shares how they feel about him. So we can't help but wonder whether it was the writer's mistake, or did Barney just make up a lie when telling his story? Did you notice any of these plot holes? And did we miss any other inconsistencies? Share in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and stay awesome! Thanks for watching.